Hello and thanks for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Aaron Porras here with ILTV's Morning Brief. The number just keeps on rising. 529 Israelis have now been diagnosed with coronavirus in the state of Israel, according to the Israeli Health Ministry. And the jump comes after more than 2,200 coronavirus tests were administered yesterday. Right now, six of the patients are seriously ill and all are elderly and had existing medical conditions before contracting the disease. The hospitals treating them say that their conditions have seriously deteriorated, with two now unconscious and hooked up to respirators. The good news is that the overwhelming majority, 498 patients, are only exhibiting light symptoms. 13 Israelis are in moderate condition and 12 have recovered. 279 are currently hospitalized, though, and 86 are receiving care at home. Now, right now, 36 Israelis are also being tested in Israel's coronavirus hotels in Tel Aviv and in Jerusalem, which have opened their facilities for patients to recover. Israel's Mossad Intelligence Service has also just brought an estimated 100,000 coronavirus tests into Israel from abroad last night, and there are plans to bring more. The intelligence agency has apparently located roughly 4 million test kits from several unidentified countries, which will be brought into Israel down the line. And this comes after an announcement last night that the defense ministry will be taking over for the health ministry when it comes to finding and purchasing all equipment necessary to combat the coronavirus. In the meantime, the Israeli government is still mulling a total lockdown of the state of Israel, and the health ministry says that it won't be necessary if the public abides by existing regulations and only leaves their homes for essential services, like buying food, medicine, going to work, or seeking medical care. But the mayor of Jerusalem says that a full coronavirus lockdown is expected within just two days, and the city is preparing for it. It's believed that the only major difference between the current situation in Israel and a total lockdown would be its enforcement by the Israeli police. In the meantime, a hotline has just been established for the tens of thousands of Israelis who are stuck abroad due to flight cancellations amid the outbreak, and the organization Israel Is is collaborating with the foreign ministry to answer all questions on the hotline that Israelis may have, including whether or not to eat in restaurants, insurance reimbursements, and how to find flights back to Israel, and how to protect themselves from the coronavirus while abroad. Now, amidst high controversy over the potential for abuse, Israel has also started its cyber surveillance of the entire general public in order to slow the spread of the deadly coronavirus. Using Israeli cell phones, the Shin Beit has been given permission to retrace the steps of coronavirus carriers, and the tracking will continue for the next 30 days. But the plan is already working. In just 24 hours, authorities have been able to inform over 400 new people via text message that they must enter quarantine as soon as possible. And as per previous directives, quarantine breakers face heavy fines and even possible jail time. Still, in spite of these efforts and ethical assurances from Public Security Minister Gilad Erdan, many are questioning the legality of this measure. And the High Court is now set to hear at least three petitions against the Sheen Beit for its surveillance, which was allowed by an interim government and without the permission of the Knesset. Also, petitioners argue that aside from allegedly violating human rights, the new surveillance could be a political power move, and it could put sensitive information in the hands of people who shouldn't have it, like workers within the health ministry who are cooperating with the Sheen Bet. That's all for now, but for more news from Israel, remember to like ILTV on Facebook and on Instagram, and to subscribe to us on YouTube. I'm Aaron Porras, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.